G'day guys, Reese Zacker from Spinlight Studio here. Stoked to be back on the Kive Audio channel, always a good time. And in this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at how we can use Enfuse to add a nice polish to our mixes. So what I've done is a deep dive through the archives and I've dug up some old mixes. So most of these were done over eight years ago. So what we're gonna do is use Enfuse on these mixes and see if we can give them a really nice polish and bring them to life. So here's our first example. Let's have a quick listen to what the track sounds like before we do anything to it. So it sounds pretty good already. It's got a pretty nice polish to it, but I feel like we could add a bit of weight to this mix, make it sound a little bit thicker and fuller. So let's load up Enfuse and see what we can do. Now I'm just going to play the track. I'm going to have a little play around and show you how quick and easy it is to get this sounding good. I mean, that sounds great. It's definitely added a bit of extra juice to the track, made it sound a little bit punchier, a bit more exciting. And that's what you want to get out of using a plugin like Enfuse. It doesn't always have to be a dramatic night and day difference, but if the track feels like it's got more weight, a bit more excitement, a bit more glued together, then that's always a good thing. Let's go over to another song. So this one goes back to around 2012. It's a really cool song, but at the time my mixing skills were probably a little average. So I think we can probably try and spice this one up quite a bit, but let's give it a quick listen, see what it sounds like. Are not moving, you can never go any undesired way. Really cool, groovy track. It just needs a bit of excitement and life added to it. So let's do it again. Pretty cool. I think we can push it a little further. You can never go any undesired way. Picture yourself now with nowhere to be, and the footprints are covering your body. That sounds awesome. So that's a really good way of showing how powerful this plugin is. You can really bring a track to life very easily. So if you're unfamiliar with this plugin, we've got two sides to it. We've got the N side and the F side. And this plugin is based on two very popular mix bus processes. And I'm sure you can guess which ones they are. Let's keep going. We've got a little bit of a pop punk tune for you on this one. So 
this one feels like it's a little bit heavy on the upper mids. I reckon we could try and add some weight to this, make it sound a little bit thicker and glued together. This is just a fucking rap, yo. sounds sick that's made the track sound really big and full where it was a little bit on the thinner side before now i've definitely given a nice big polished sound that sounds awesome and i love that you can mix between the n and the f side here we can get the best of both worlds and just blend it to taste let's have a listen to this next one it's a bit of an acoustic folky kind of track this one goes back to maybe around 2012 2013 era Someone. So this sounds pretty cool. Maybe a little bit mid heavy, especially like on the vocal. So let's see what we can do. See if we can polish this up a bit. So I think if you want to make the track a bit warmer, the end side is kind of the go-to for me. Sounded pretty nice, definitely added some nice warmth to the track and opened it up really nice as well. The whip sounds really good on this mix. It makes it sound a lot bigger, a lot more open and that little bit of air that we've added as well as the thickness with the dark saturation definitely takes away from that mid-range boost that I was hearing before. Okay, let's check out this next one. Big, powerful rock song. I feel like this just needs a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of extra energy, and then it'll start to sound a bit better.
this one? A drum, the snare drum sounds awesome. You take up the That sounds pretty cool. Definitely adding some extra life to it. Got a little bit of sneaky parallel compression happening here. Got a fast release, high ratio, and the blend back around 20%. I feel like that was sounding pretty cool. Added some nice energy to it. And the whiff on the end side on this track sounded awesome. You can hear how it made that snare really open up and sound really wide. That sounded sick. And it was just so quick and easy to get that track sounding more exciting, so. Loving that. Let's go one more example. This is a track from a band that I'm in called Capeside. So this is a track we recorded quite a few years back now. It's a pretty cool little jam. So I think we just need a bit of glue, a bit of excitement, a bit of saturation, and I think this will start to sound a bit nicer. All right, here we go. I think we finally got there at the end there. Let's have a quick listen to that again.
actually think I prefer the the end compressor on this mix. It's just had a little bit more weight to it and just kind of tamed the transients a bit more. The snare's a little pokey on the mix and it just made it sort of sit in there a little bit nicer. So that's pretty cool. Even in a mastering setting, this is a great tool to really bring some tracks to life, add a little bit of excitement, a bit of color to them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Kai Bordio's channel. And while you're at it, come visit my channel, Spinlight Studio, and check out some of the videos over there as well. If you haven't yet tried Enfuse for yourself, make sure you go over to Kaip Audio's website. There'll be a link in the description below and you can go trial this plugin out. And if you like it, make sure you grab a copy of it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.